hello now i am going to tell you how to do the assembly of a scar robot so in the solidworks the two solidworks 2013 so first of all browse the file to import it that is the base file press the left button of the mouse and you can see the body is placed and it is fully defined right now that is no mate or constraints are required to be given now the body is fixed so insert the component next component I will say link 1 and just click the left button the mouse and say fit now you can see the component can be placed anywhere in the starting but we will give the mate commands so that the required assembly can be obtained so I am giving the mate command for this say ok one more mate command for the curved surface so that the link can come in the center of the base so that's fine so say ok and we will see the view ISO metric view so now I am going to insert one more component insert browse the files then link to open just left click of the mouse I am again mating this curved surface with this so that it will come together it will align eccentrically and say ok now this surface is to be aligned with this surface so say ok now you can see these are aligned say ok now I am going to insert one more component browse that is the cylinder it will move up and down in the center of this hole so let's give the mate command for this let's say mate right again this has to be given some advanced mate with the top surface so that it can move up and down so I will say mate and in this I will give advanced mate in advanced mate select this option so that we can give the motion so I am giving the maximum motion as 3.5 and minimum should be I am giving it zero say ok now you can see it can move up and down and this link is individually rotating and this link rotates the whole body so now I am going to insert one more component insert component browse and four ok click now I am going to make this surface with the inner one so mate ok right and now I am going to make this with this surface so so now say ok and alright so let us fit the zoom View and say you can see the isometric view. Now you can see the scar robot 
full scale robot it is rotating about this first link that is rotating this is the second link which we can see and also rotate this is the third link that can move up and down reciprocating motion or prismatic link the first two are rotary links and here this is this is the clamp or we can say gripper that can be used to pick and place the object so over here it is round as you can see so we are not able to see the rotation of this but we, we if it is it can also rotate so thanks for watching this video do like this video thanks